Hey friends, over the years, I've done videos on the best K-pop debut songs that were voted on by you all. But I never gave my personal favorite K-pop debuts of my own. I have a lot, and of course, they might not match yours or others, but it's a big K-pop universe. And although we might have different opinions, we're all here because of our love of K-pop. That's right, we're one big family. Mm-hmm. A family that sometimes fights, but we're not gonna get into that, are we? Anyway, but I still want you all to share your favorite K-pop debut songs below as well. For this video, I plan to go over my favorite K-pop debuts from over the years. This excludes solo and subunit debuts from existing groups because that's a separate topic and I could really go down the rabbit hole on that one. But before we get started, please do me the huge favor of hitting those like and subscribe buttons for me. It helps me to know which videos you like of the best and of course helps me with the YouTube algorithm and so it knows to reach out to you with other videos of mine. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Dare to Be, and now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get started with the best K-pop debut songs. Starting off this list, I thought it'd be great to go over the most recent debut that captured my attention. At first, I wasn't too sure if I liked Black Mamba all that much, but the booming chorus coupled with the great choreography sold me. The girls came out strong with this debut and it's quite a different package for an SM girl group. I look forward to seeing what else Espa has to offer. I like this debut from last year. Uh, I mean, I don't regard this as a top favorite debut of mine, but I found this song to be mm, nice. But nice is a good feeling, so uh, I wanted to include it. I wanted to showcase as many favorites as I could for this video, starting generally from my favorites and working my way to my most favorite K-pop debut songs. So look forward as we continue to go through this list. This one is widely regarded as an epic debut, but I also have a slight bias because I had the pleasure of seeing EXO at their debut showcase in person when they premiered this song and music video. It's something I'll never forget. I even went to their debut stage for Ink and Gaio the following weekend, and of course, it was great. I guess you can say I was already an exotic right off the bat before XOL was even a thing. The powerful vocals from Dio sets the tone for the song with its epic instrumental. I have so many memories tied to this song and it's one that's still a favorite after all these years. Regarded as one of the best K-pop debuts in history, New East made a splash with Faced in 2012 and I remember hearing this premiere and really enjoying this song. It has aged fairly well, except the dubstep part, but that doesn't take away from it. I still come back to this song from time to time and fondly remember this as one song in my personal favorite year in K-pop. What a great debut song! These girls really had something and really made us think they were on the path to greatness. What an awful shame that they never got to experience what could have been, as they sadly disbanded after the song, so their name was appropriate. Um, Kiss and Cry had so much potential, and Domino Game is truly remarkable. This song is definitely a timeless piece. I mean, the song itself might not have aged well as the others here, but it's still fire. Pun intended. I'll be honest, the song did take me a while to get into because I was against listening to American-like music back when I got into K-pop around that time. But over time, I came back to it and realized how much fun it was. Oh man, I miss 21. Can they come back and release this song together again and save 2020 and from this pandemic? It'd be a baby Christmas Jesus miracle or whatever the fuck you're saying. I'm not even speaking coherently anymore. Yeah. 
Another very recent debut song on this list. The vocals in the song sound like a mix between BTS and Text File. I'm sorry, excuse me, Tomorrow by Together. I enjoyed this song and see myself looking back at this debut as a great one. <laughs> It's really disappointing to see how Gina's career went, but I remember really enjoying her debut song. I literally was just investing myself into this K-pop thing at the time and was like, oh my god, this could be on the American radio. I mean, I didn't sound like that, but you know, I just have to, you know, put my own little flair in it. Uh, it still feels timeless to me and one that I don't think is talked about very much anymore. It's a shame because this was a great debut. A 2020 debut and a shining light in this crazy year. I loved this debut. With its soothing vocals coupled with an 80s instrumental, I have found Damien to be such a breath of fresh air in the midst of this booming K-pop landscape. Thanks to Damien for keeping me calm in this pandemic, darling. In retrospect, IU's debut is considered by some to be a failure. But you know what? I like it. Obviously, we know how her career went after this. And while this debut might not be on a lot of people's favorite list, it's on mine at least. And that should count for something. Mm-hmm. Like one of those participation trophies that kids get these days. This is another recent song on this list, and I really like the beat to it. It fits right in with the music out today, which can sometimes be out of sync with pop music in other markets. I'm not sure how I'll feel about this debut in a few years' time, but for now, I'll say it's a rather nice debut. Biased or not, this song chicka chicka chewed into my heart, damn it. Moving on. The unfortunately short-lived group X1's debut song, Flash, was definitely a favorite of mine from 2019. I mean, I guess you could say it got me fired up, but I'm trying to refrain from being too cringy here. Oh wait, I, I, I'm too late, aren't I? Hey y'all, we're coming into the halfway point, and I went to my Patreon to ask my patrons to provide me with their favorite K-pop debut songs. Thank you so much, patrons, past and present, for your support. It really means a lot, and here are your honorable mentions. All right, now back to the list. Anytime strings are used, I always feel either calmed or ramped up. Insane by B2B is a rather underrated debut song, and these strings have me fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm moving on. I loved it and still find myself returning to this song with the same feeling after all these years. Another timeless bop. You're my only one way Ailey's debut made a big splash in 2012. 2012 had so many great songs and debuts, really. Ailey's Heaven really showcased her so well. A timeless song that can still be a hit if it came out today. She's an amazingly talented vocalist we have in K-pop, and I hope she continues to share her gift with all of us. Another sadly short-lived group, I really liked UNB's debut song, Feeling, and their follow-up, Blackheart. 
Feeling was such a fun song that sent me on an emotional roller coaster with so many emotions and tones that I had in it. Oh, oh my God, I get it now. Wow, feelings. Well done, boys. It's not often you see a group re-debut with a completely different concept, name, and direction. Dreamcatcher went through a metamorphosis for the gods, starting as the bright pop minx and then re-debuting as dark pop rock goddesses. Did I just show my bias? Um, yes. Anyways, let's just say that Catch Me caught me. I mean, it didn't take much. I just simply rolled over and surrendered, and I was their bitch for life. Anyway, these girls have continued to deliver since then. Catch Me was definitely the start of something great for them. As you probably have figured out by now, I'm not here to deliver the same best K-pop debuts list you might see elsewhere. Remember, these are my personal favorites, and 100%'s Bad Boy was so much fun for me. Again, 2012 was lit, y'all, and I feel bad if you weren't there with us besides the obvious Gangnam style. I so wish 100% got the recognition they deserved because they had some great songs in their run so far, and Bad Boy got that momentum going. You will not be able to find another K-pop debut song that basically gave the message, congratulations, you're a bitch, to your ex. Nobody, but Day6 practically did. Congratulations is wonderful and a shining light in that 2015 K-pop year. Day6 showed up on the scene to give themselves a congratulations for putting out awesomeness for the next five years at least, because they've proven that so far. I'm a sucker for 90s dance songs, and Lee Jung Hyun came onto the scene introducing Korea to techno music. Wa is iconic, and even though the song is a little bit dated, it was revolutionary at the time, and one that I just love going back to and singing along to. It's a classic Gen 1 K-pop song that was impactful when I got into K-pop, even a decade after its release. Oh man, almost forgot to include this one in this list. I found this debut to be so catchy, and it still is. A well-received song at the time of its release, I wonder how many K-pop fans of today know this 2011 bop. Okay, I'll admit that I got into the song later than I should have, but once I really took the time to dive back into older K-pop songs, this one really stood out. A classic K-pop song, one that made SG Wannabe a remarkable group to debut at the time. A K-pop song that definitely lives up to its name, Timeless. <laughs> I remember back when this was premiered, many of us online loved it. It was such a solid song. Such a shame how they were ruined by their company CEO scandals. I loved their promotional songs and their short run, and this one was a great start to them all. It's amazing how a song that was jarring to me and one that I was initially turned off of turned into a song that ended up being in my top 10 favorite songs of 2017. Echo is a great example of one that grows on you and 7 o'clock definitely deserves more love. With their debut, I was already ready for dinner. Get it? Because Echo is like a snack and you typically eat dinner at 7 o'clock. Okay, I'll stop explaining it and move on because I just embarrassed myself. <laughs> 2019 definitely started off well in the k pop verse, and One Us Valkyrie was partly thanks to that. I mean, and if I wanted to be nitpicky, and I guess I will, I felt the auto-tune was a little unnecessary, but outside of that, I still really enjoyed the song, and it made me instantly take notice of them from the get-go. That's hard to do in this oversaturated K-pop market, and One Us continued with some great follow-up songs to prove 
that they're here to stay. Before I get into my personal top five favorite K-pop debut songs of all time, I wanted to take the time to run through other K-pop songs that I know some people would be claiming as their favorite K-pop debut. Remember to share your favorite debut songs below. So, here's a quick run through of K-pop debut songs that I know many K-pop fans highly regard. Going in alphabetical order. 4 Minute, Hot Issue, Octa Musician 200%, BAP's Warriors, BTS, No More Dream, C in Blue, I Am A Loner, FX's La Chata, FT Island's Love Sick, G.O.D. To Mother, History, Dreamer, Itzy's Dala Dala, Eyes One, Lavi and Rose, Mama Moo's Mr. Ambiguous, Miss A, Bad Girl, Good Girl, NCTU Seven Sense, Red Velvet, Happiness, SES I'm Your Girl, 17 Adore You, Stray Kids District 9, Tiara's Lie, The Ark, The Light, TVXQ, Hug, Twice, Like Ooh Ah, 101's Energetic, and Winners Empty. Okay, now for the final five, and speaking of okay. Okay, go! B184 literally debuted the day I officially moved to Korea. Talk about coincidence and something meant to be. They were the very first group I ever supported at a K-pop music show, which ended up being Inkigayo just a few weeks later. OK is still one of my favorite K-pop debuts ever, and partly because of the memories. <sighs> I may be from southwestern U.S., but I never thought a song called Cactus would go down as one of my favorite songs of 2017. Then again, I liked a song called Num 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 Num, so anything's possible at this point, really. So, there's that. I absolutely love the instrumental to Cactus, as the sound propels me on an epic journey that makes me feel that I'm a part of an anime that has a cactus somewhere. You know. But either way... Definitely one of my favorite K-pop songs ever, and one of my favorite K-pop debut songs ever. Like, ever. Sometimes it's not always about having a meaningful song that makes an impact with our youth. Sometimes I just want to drop my weapon and twerk it to the get down bop. Uh, that's what Boombaya does for me. This is one of my top favorite songs of 2016. Boom by y'all, slap my ass, and I consider filing assault charges until I turn around and saw who did it. <laughs> As an out and proud in spirit, I gotta tell you that this song from 2010 started it all. While I will admit that I discovered Infinite during the Before the Dawn era, I had to go back into their catalog to discover this gem. It's a timeless song, for sure, and I encourage you all to try it with your favorite and not-so-favorite groups. I am drawn to timeless songs, which just might be a foreshadowing to a future video. Wink, wink, wink. But anyways, Infinite's debut helps set the standard for amazing synchronization and K-pop choreography. They're still a favorite group of mine, and I'm still showing this to friends and family 10 years later. One other special one I want to mention is Shiny's Replay. Many of you all know that I am a Shawal, and I adore this group. However, with Replay, while I personally don't regard that song as a favorite of mine, I do want to acknowledge that it's deemed as one of the best K-pop debuts of all time. Even in the countdown videos that I had fans vote back in 2012, 2015, and 2018, Shiny topped it every single time. Just goes to show that it too can be a timeless classic to many. This one is a timeless classic and was regarded as one of the best K-pop songs ever. Girls' Generation's debut song still resonates today and continues to be utilized for even powerful movements within Korea, from political protests to gay pride parades. This one is a personal favorite of mine from the girls and goes down as one of my top favorite K-pop debuts of all time. Well, that's it for today, folks. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. I hope you all enjoyed this list of my personal favorites, and if you agreed with some of my choices, let me know. Remember, this is a safe space for our community, so please be respectful. 
And be sure to share your personal favorite K-pop debut songs below in the comments. And as always, thank you all for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And while you're here, check out many more of my K-pop videos on all kinds of topics. And I'll see you next time.